हेलो हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द सेशन वन ऑफ नेटवर्क लेयर अंडर वीटीयू ई शिक्षण प्रोग्राम नेटवर्क लेयर इज द थर्ड लेयर ऑफ ओएसआई रेफरेंस मॉडल ओके नेटवर्क लेयर इज रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर कम्युनिकेशन बिटवीन होस्ट टू होस्ट इन ट्रांसपोर्ट लेयर वी डिस्कस्ड port to port communication in network layer the communication takes place between end system and it is a ip based communication ip address based communication okay network layer is the third layer in osi reference model and network layer deals with communication between devices that is end system and in the figure you can see host 1 and host 2 between host 1 and host 2 there are several routers so and uh, if you want to send data from host 1 to host 2 you have to find the shortest path and routing algorithm will be there in router to find the shortest path between source and destination network layer deals with the communication between host whereas the transport layer deals with the communication between process okay to consider h1 and h2 and several routers between h1 and h2 right there are several routers between h1 and h2 this is router 1 and router Uh, two and this is host one and this is host uh, two, right? Suppose H one is sending information to H two. Consider H one sends information to H two, and uh, what is the role of network layer in communication between two hosts? Network layer provides IP address, and IP address is unique. Every device in the system will have IP address. IP address is used to identify device in the internet or in the network. If the network is too large, the network is divided into different different subnets. You can consider this is uh, one subnet uh, and uh, this is another subnet. Okay, and every subnet will have its own address. and uh, in uh, subnets uh, there will be several hosts you have to identify the host for that ip address is required network layer provides ip address transport layer provides port address right and uh, if you want to send the packets from host 1 to host 2 uh, uh, you have to find the nearest router to route the packets to the destination the function of router is routing and forwarding the packet the network layer in h1 see the network layer in uh, h1 takes segment from the transport layer in h1 the network layer in h1 takes segments from the transport layer in h1 encapsulates each segment into a datagram that is network layer packet uh, here uh, we deal with packets in the network layer we deal with packets in data link layer we deal with frames and in physical layer we deal with bits in uh, um, in a transport layer we deal with segments and then uh, when it receives a datagram or a packet uh, from the transport layer it sends that to the nearby router here r1 at the receiving host h2 the network layer receives the datagram the network layer receives the datagram from its nearby router r2 extracts the segment and delivers the segment to the transport layer uh, this is how the communication takes place in the figure you can uh, see Uh, the host one wants to communicate with the host two, and uh, between host one and host two, there are several uh, routers, and it will find the shortest path from host one to host 
to through routers to reach the destination to reach host one that is if uh, uh, h1 is sending information to h2 uh, the role of network layer in these uh, two host uh, and in the intervening router is uh, to find the routing path to the host 2 from host 1 the network layer in h1 takes segment from transport layer in h1 encapsulates each segment into datagram that is network layer packet and then sends the datagram to its uh, router that is nearby router that is r1 at the receiving uh, host h2 at the receiving host that is h2 the network layer receives the datagram from its nearby router extracts the transport layer segment root to that is it uh, delivers a segment to the transport layer at s2 the primary role of router is to forward datagram from input links to the output link this is what the primary goal of router the primary goal of uh, router is to forward datagram from input link to output link okay now network layer coming to the introduction of a network layer that is it is a third layer of osi model and layer 3 in the osi model is called network layer network layer manages options relating to host and network addressing managing subnetwork and internetworking see in osi reference model there are seven layers third layer is the network layer right the network layer manages options pertaining to host and network addressing managing subnetwork and internetworking in the last slide we saw how the communication takes place between two hosts between two hosts there are several routers and router will forward the packet to the destination right and the network layer is responsible for routing the uh, packets that is network layer manages options pertaining to host and network addressing right managing subnetworks and inter internetworking so in a network layer the communication takes place between two hosts and for every host ip address will be there and network layer provides ip address for every network address will be there if the network is too large you have to divide the network into different subnets and for each subnet different address will be there and you can communicate within network also and you can communicate between networks and uh, between subnetworks uh, for all these uh, activity network layer is very much important and uh, network layer takes the responsibility for routing packets from source to destination uh, or outside a subnet so network layer is responsible for routing packets from source to destination within or outside a subnet uh, if the network is too large you have to divide the network into different subnets because if the network is too large it is difficult for the administrator to manage that's why you have to divide the network into subnet and for each subnet uh, id will be there subnet id will be there and in the ip address you can identify two parts one is host id another one is the network id if you get the ip address then easily you can identify the network id and the host id in which network that particular host is located and network layer has two important function that is forwarding and routing network layer is responsible for forwarding and routing the packet and network layer takes the responsible uh, that, that is responsibility for routing packets from source to destination right and the network layer provides ip address uh, with using ip address you can identify the network id and the host id right 
and two different subnets may have different addressing schemes or non compatible addressing types uh, you all know there are different types of address unicast address multicast address broadcast address and uh, uh, different types of uh, ip uh, that is ipv4 and ipv6 uh, two different subnet may be operating on different protocols uh, that is ipv4 or ipv6 which are not compatible with each other and network layer has the responsibility to route the packet from source to destination mapping different addressing schemes and protocols network layer plays very important roles in delivering the packet between two hosts so ip address plays very important role in identifying the device in the network right next coming to the network address in uh, network address there are uh, different types of addressing that is one is unicast that is uh, one to one that is unicast means destined to one host multicast means one to many that is destined to a group multicast and broadcast means all that is destined to all if you send a packet then all uh, devices in the network will receive that packet and any cast means destined to nearest one destined to nearest one and these are different types of network address unicast means uh, one to one that is uh, if you want to send a packet uh, then you can send from one host to another host and if uh, the address is multicast you can send that uh, packet to a group of uh, uh, systems and the broadcast means all system will receive that particular message and any cast means destined to nearest one okay next is what is ip addressing ip addressing provides mechanism to differentiate between host and network uh, ip address has two part one is a network id uh, another one is host id and uh, uh, every device in the network is identified by the IP address, right? The host always resides under a specific network. The host which needs to communicate with the outside world needs uh, what IP address? The host which needs to communicate outside its subnet needs to know destination network address where the packet or data is to be sent. So, hosts in different subnets need a mechanism to locate each other. That is, hosts in different subnet need a mechanism to locate each other. In which subnet the host is located, that you have to identify first. So, IP address plays very important role in identifying the host, in identifying the uh, system, in identifying the device in the network. So, IP address provides mechanism to differentiate between host and network because in IP address you will get network ID and the host ID. IP address is a 32 bit address, right? Uh, IPv4 is a 32 bit and IPv6 is 128 bit. In IPv4, uh, 32 bits are there in that uh, two parts one is network ID, another one is host ID. Uh, right if you identify the network easily you can identify the host present in that uh, network so first you have to identify the network afterwards you have to identify the host and the host always resides under a specific network so the host which needs to communicate outside its subnet needs to know destination network address so if you want to communicate between two networks then uh, destination network address you should know and uh, where the packet is to be sent so after identifying the network id you have to identify the uh, host id uh, where you want to send the packet so uh, consider an example see uh, that is if you want to go for a particular uh, address first you will locate the area afterwards you will uh, locate the cross Afterwards, you will identify the name of the building. In that, uh, several uh, rooms will be there. Uh, uh, then you will identify the room number. Like this, 
uh, the uh, system works right next dns is a service which provide uh, layer 3 address dns is a server that is domain name system uh, see we people uh, remember names rather than number but uh, computer works with uh, binary so uh, to convert uh, ip address to domain name uh, uh, we use uh, address resolution and reverse address resolution protocol and domain name uh, that is google.com amazon.com these are domain names uh, .com .org .in these are domain names you have to convert this domain name to ip address for that you have to contact dns so dns is a server domain name system is a server which provides layer 3 address of remote host mapped with its domain name or fully qualified domain see fully qualified domain that is www.google.com see google uh, is the uh, uh, name and .com is the domain and you have to convert this uh, domain name to ip address for that you have to contact dns and when a host acquires the layer 3 address that is ip address of the remote host it forwards all its packet to its gateway Right. What is gateway? Gateway is a router equipped with all the information which leads to root packet to the destination host. I understood. See, if you want to send a packet from source to destination, you have to identify the path. Afterwards, you have to maintain that path and the packet will take that path to reach the destination. So, router uh, maintains a routing table in that. Uh, uh, there is uh, several paths uh, for the destination. You have to identify the shortest path and routing algorithm plays a very important role in identifying the uh, shortest path between source and destination. Right. And gateway is a router uh, equipped with all information which leads to route packets to the destination. Right. So uh, you have to contact DNS to get the IP address because uh, 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 computer works with binary you have to convert uh, the domain name to ip address using ip address you can identify network id and the host id right when you get the ip address you can uh, forward packet to that particular address uh, to identify the path router uh, is required in router routing algorithm will be there okay which identify the shortest path D DNS is domain name system which converts which is used to get the IP address right and next is network service model what is this network service model see the network service model defines the characteristic of end-to-end uh, transport of packets between sending and receiving uh, end uh, system between sending and receiving end system it also provides services like guaranteed delivery right uh, guaranteed delivery with bounded delay in order packet delivery guaranteed minimum bandwidth guaranteed maximum jitter and security services so the network service model defines the characteristic of end-to-end -end transport of packet that is end-to-end -end transport of packets between sending and receiving uh, end system i mean see uh, between uh, source and destination there are several routers and you have to find the shortest path between source and destination and uh, that shortest uh, uh, path you have to uh, uh, reach within uh, a specified amount of time and what is this guaranteed delivery see guaranteed delivery means this service guarantees that the packet will arrive at its destination so reliability uh, that is uh, if you send packets from source to destination uh, the destination should receive the packet that is it gives guarantee that the packet will 
uh, reach the destination the packet will eventually arrive at its destination this is what guaranteed delivery uh, okay and uh, what is guaranteed delivery with bounded delay that is within a specified uh, time the packet should reach the destination that is this service not only guarantees the delivery of the packet but delivery within a specified host to host delay bound for example within 100 millisecond uh, you have to send the packet the delay should not be uh, more latency should not be more next in order delivery of packet in what order you are going to send the packet in that order only the destination uh, should receive the packets this service in order packet delivery guarantees that packet arrive at destination in the order uh, that they were sent in the order that they were sent and uh, guaranteed minimum bandwidth see minimum bandwidth means uh, see uh, for every a link there is a bandwidth that is a uh, speed 1 mbps 2 mbps like this the network layer service uh, emulates the behavior of a transmission link of a specified bit rate between sending and receiving host so uh, a link has bandwidth and uh, uh, the bandwidth should be minimum uh, that is Uh, with the minimum bandwidth you have to send the packet from source to destination you should not demand for high bandwidth okay as long as the sending host transmits bits at a rate below the specified bit rate then no packet is lost and each packet arrives within a uh, prescripted that is uh, specified host to host delay that is within 40 millisecond like this and what is this guaranteed maximum jitter that is irregular arrival of time of packet is nothing but jitter as the one packet comes at 1 second next packet comes at 2 seconds no that should not happen that is uh, guaranteed maximum jitter that is Uh, this service guarantees that the amount of time between the transmission of two successive packet at the sender is equal to the amount of time between their uh, receipt at the destination that is spacing uh, changes by no more than some specified value okay minimum bandwidth maximum jitter and security services that is encryption and decryption these are some of the uh, services uh, provided uh, by the network layer that is a guaranteed delivery uh, the packet should reach the destination and pack uh, guaranteed delivery with bounded delay that is uh, it should reach the destination within uh, the uh, specified amount of time in order packet delivery that is uh, Uh, the packet should arrive at the destination in the order in uh, uh, what order they have sent and guaranteed minimum bandwidth the minimum bandwidth uh, should be utilized by the link and uh, maximum uh, jitter and uh, security services security services encryption and decryption will be there uh, at uh, sender side encryption at uh, receiver side decryption takes place and uh, routing the packets now what is this uh, routing uh, the packet when a device has multiple path to reach a destination it always sets one path by uh, preferring it over other see if there are multiple path you have to identify a single path uh, which is shortest uh, path for uh, that particular destination so uh, routing algorithm plays very important role for identifying the shortest path and uh, this selection of process is termed as a routing so routing is done by special network device called routers or it can be done by means of software process that is routing algorithm and a router is always configured with some default route it is configured with some default route uh, and that particular uh, a path is set uh, in the uh, router uh, that is considered as the default route a default route tells the router where to forward a packet if there is no route found for specific destination 
otherwise it will calculate the shortest path uh, dynamically uh, otherwise uh, a static root will be there and a default root will be there if there is no uh, specific uh, uh, path for that uh, destination a default root is set so uh, routing the packet plays very important role uh, it is handled by the uh, router in the network and uh, to uh, send the packet from source to destination multiple paths will be there and you have to identify the shortest path and this is done by the router sometimes uh, a routing algorithm uh, will uh, take uh, will take care of this and uh, in case there are multiple paths existing to reach the same destination router can make decision based on the following information see if there are multiple paths uh, between uh, source and destination uh, the router will identify the shortest path based on op count bandwidth metric prefix length and delay so what is this uh, 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 op count see op count means uh, that is it refers to the number of devices usually uh, routers uh, that a piece of uh, data travels through that is op count number of uh, devices you have to uh, uh, you have to pass to reach the destination uh, that is uh, each time that a packet of data moves from one router to another say the router of uh, your home network to one uh, just outside your country line that is considered as one half if you uh, if you reach one router then one half if you reach two routers then two halves like this uh, that is the number of devices usually uh, that uh, that a piece of uh, data travels through uh, number of devices means uh, routers if there are two routers then two hops if there are three routers uh, between uh, the host and destination then that is uh, three hops next uh, what is this uh, bandwidth see uh, bandwidth uh, means in uh, uh, computer network uh, the bandwidth is the maximum rate of data uh, transfer across a given path the uh, bandwidth means a maximum uh, rate of data transfer across a given path bandwidth may be characterized as a network bandwidth data bandwidth or digital uh, bandwidth so uh, bandwidth also plays very important role to identify the shortest path that is uh, number of uh, uh, uh data that is a maximum rate of data transfer across a given uh, path next is uh, what is a metric see metric uh, means uh, router metrics are measured uh, uh, used in a router that is a router metrics or metrics uh, used by a router to make routing decision a metric is typically uh, one of many fields in a routing table that is a cost uh, uh, for every link there will be a cost that is uh, considered as a metric router metric helps the router to choose the best route among multiple uh, routes to a destination that is uh, for every route there will be a cost uh, based on that you have identified the shortest path okay that is it is a value that is assigned to an ip root a metric is a value that is assigned to a ip uh, root and the prefix length uh, that is uh, prefix uh, means uh, in ipv4 and the prefix means uh, it is a network portion uh, the prefix of the address can be identified by a dotted decimal net mask commonly referred to as a subnet mask right and uh, what is this uh, delay delay is uh, latency delay means uh, um, it specifies the latency for a bit of data to travel across the network so these are some of the uh, information the router will consider to identify the shortest path from source to destination that is a uh, half count bandwidth metric prefix length and delay because router can be statistically configured or dynamically learned so one router can be configured 
to be preferred over others. If there are multiple paths, you have to identify the shortest path and uh, routing algorithm will identify the shortest path based on this information. Okay. Uh, thank you. In the next class, we will continue with uh, some more details about uh, routing.